Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival, thousands heard from the best of the music masters. And thousands flooded the streets of road and as road fever hit the capital. The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition, starts now. Now in HD. Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. Good evening everyone, I'm Charisma Robinson and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. The first Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival is already proving to be a success, judging by the interest and thousands of Bahamians attending the three-day party. Today, hundreds participated in the road march through the streets of New Providence and thousands lined the streets to watch. RCS Adelaide also jumped in the line. As the first ever Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival comes to a close tonight, Bahamians and visitors alike made sure to end those festivities with a bang. Thousands burned up the streets early Saturday, proving that they were ready for the road. From the colorful costumes to the pulsating music, it was one big party here in the capital. Based on today's showing, the spectators we spoke to are already considering jumping in the line next year. The first night was a success, the second night was amazing with the concert, and now we have road fever here with all the groups going down the road. You got to jump in the line, it's going down. Farmers Jungle Carnival was a success. We did it. I'm a Bahamian, I don't miss any, anything that is cultural in Bahamian. I'm 100% a part of it. This is fabulous, I absolutely love it. Um, it's almost as good as Junkanoo. Though some criticized the government's decision to host the event, John Beckford, a member of Miami Carnival Committee, endorsed it, saying the cultural explosion exceeded his expectations. We want to welcome the Bahamas to the Carnival fraternity. Miami Carnival is celebrating 31 years uh, this year, October 11th, and a lot of Bahamians come to Miami for Miami Carnival. So it's only right that Miami Carnival is here in Nassau, and our expectations have been exceeded. For the first time out, impressive. Congratulations to the Festival Commission. I know this is the Prime Minister's vision. Honorable Christie, congratulations. Job well done. And there's no denying traffic officers had their hands full today. Inspector Paul Cash of the Traffic Department estimated that at least 15,000 people were in the cultural village area alone. And yet, for the most part, everything went smoothly. There were one or two persons that we had to ticket um, for driving up the wrong way on one-way streets and for those persons who could not wait and who chose to enter and enter the route itself while participants were uh, gathered. Um, so we had to uh, deal with them um, according to the extent of, uh, of the law. Um, but other than that, we had no, no major challenges. Um. Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival will wrap up tonight with a finale concert featuring Bahamian legend Ronnie Butler. The concert begins at 8 p.m. on Arawaki. Siaska Adderley, ZNS Network News. Thanks so much, Siesca. And day two of Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival is being described as epic. The much-anticipated Music Masters concert was held last night on Fort Charlotte, and it was literally a nail-biter as patrons patiently awaited to hear the winner. Altavis Munnings has a complete wrap-up of last night's activities. Standing room only would be an understatement to describe the Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival's Music Masters concert Friday night at Fort Charlotte. Ten top Bahamian artists across the Bahamas made history by competing for the $20,000 cash prize by composing the first ever Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival song. Once all of the artists performed their segment, it seemed as though judges had a very hard task on their hands. 25 songs by 19 artists were initially identified. That number decreased to 10, and on Friday night, only one music master would be crowned. The popular hit, Jump the Line by Sammy Starr, secured the most votes with 671 points and earned him the top $20,000 cash prize and the title of Music Master of the Bahamian Sound. 666 points secured the second spot for Erica Lady E. Simonet with her song, Island in the Sun. Colin McDonald came in third with his song, Carnival is Here, and Bodine Johnson received the fourth spot, securing 624 points for her song, All Day, All Night. 
Everyone in the competition received a cash prize. Now, Festival Commission member Fred Munnings had to start and then stop reciting the judging criteria due to the crowd booing during the process. And that continued during the announcement of the final results and even the winner. The awards were presented by Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie and BTC Also performing at Friday Night's Music Masters concert were Haitian and Latino bands, Bahaman and Trinidadian soca music artist Marshall Montano. Next on the Bahamas Junk Canoe Carnival schedule is Road Fever that's set for Saturday between 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Then an all Bahamian concert is set for Saturday night at Fort Charlotte. Altavis Monings, ZNS Network News. Well, the winner of the Music Masters Song Competition announced and he could be getting quite a notable backing and much exposure from Sony Music. Musician Sammy Starr emerged the winner and in addition to winning $20,000, he also secured a promotional partnership with Sony Music. During a news conference this morning, he shared his excitement. The process has been a long one and um, I'm, I'm proud to have actually uh, taken the initiative to enter the competition you know when we when we first heard about the competition uh, not my, not just myself but a lot of other uh, Bahamian entertainers we were a little skeptical about it you know especially seeing that it would have been the first of its kind um, you know but uh, of course you know we we believe we believe that it, in order in order to develop something you got to start it and I am uh, extremely proud um, of the outcome, not, not just for the Music Masters competition itself, but for the entire Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival event. It's, it's historical, it's mind-blowing what, what has happened. The success of it and the result is, is just is mind-blowing. And I'm proud to be Bahamian and proud to be a part of it. Proud to have won $20,000. There you go. <laughs> Well, meantime, Sony Music, one of the largest music and entertainment corporations in the world, is pleased to be working with the Bahamas National Festival Commission. Senior Vice President of Business Development, Ruben Leva, says he was impressed with the level of performance. Last night, uh, Bahamians everywhere, I'm sure, are living an incredibly proud moment. Um, I can say, you know, having dedicated my life to music, that it's a fantastic opportunity to be here today with all of you and to be partners in this with a country that puts music at the center. Uh, we feel it's the strongest form of communication there is, is music. It relates on a very basic level that everyone understands and I think your example is right on point. Um, and so we're very excited to be a partner of that. Um, Sammy, you uh, did an amazing job and, and, you know, I mean, the competition was fantastic. I think at the end of the day, it's about the music, but it's also about developing and identifying new talent. And that's what we try to do every day. Um, and it is also about taking that music to the world, right? And we hope to do very humbly help you along this journey. As the first ever Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival wraps up tonight, there's no denying that the three-day cultural explosion has garnered international attention, and it's something that tourism officials hope to capitalize on. Several European journalists were in town this weekend to get the Bahamian Carnival experience firsthand, giving the Bahamas as a destination the priceless exposure it needs to generate a buzz within the European market. Europeans, you know, love long stays and have different experience. So for us, it's long haul. It's long to, to come to the Bahamas. It's a bit far away, but they love this type of travel. Europe is a really important market for the Ministry of Tourism, and we are here to expose uh, new destinations and established destinations like the UK to what the Bahamas is all about. We want to go beyond the stereotype, uh, beautiful weather, beautiful beaches. The Bahamas has lots of things to offer in terms of culture, in terms of friendly people. And while they are here, mainly for the carnival experience, these journalists say they were impressed by how much the Bahamas has to offer. It's not just an activity, but something that is really in the roots of the people here. Music and food, that is uh, really what the Bahamas, I think, is it's all about. So I think I will focus on the conch and on John Canoe. I think that's what people want to know when they travel. They want to know where to... Uh, eat the good stuff, the local stuff. They want to know where to, what music to to listen to. The experience has been um, uh, has been uh, wonderful because uh, because of the weather, because of the landscapes, because of the infrastructure we we show. Gunshots fired, one man dead in Nassau village. The details straight ahead. <laughs> 